Hey, welcome to D-Lab everybody. In this video, I'm going to show you the easy steps to convert a solid state amplifier into a tube machine. Here we go. All right, so the amp that I have selected to retrofit into a tube machine is a Fender Sidekick. This was a solid state amp made in the mid 80s. The cabinet was well built and it almost looks like a Princeton. And it comes with a 12 inch speaker installed. Normally this is a Fender speaker but when I acquired this amp it had this Marshall MG series installed. So for the update to a tube amplifier you're going to reuse this original chassis. There's some changes that need to be made but it would definitely house a line of tubes, power transformer, output transformer, and the speaker will plug right back in to the chassis. So what we're going to use is the original cabinet, original chassis, and the 12 inch speaker. Next step, get the chassis out. You need to gut it and get ready for your new design. All right, so the circuit that I'm going to build onto this chassis will be a Fender Princeton 6G2 style, but I'm not going to use 6V6s. This one will have a pair of 6AQ5s. So the first step for the update is obviously gut the chassis. This front panel was the Sidekick 35. When I'm done, there will be a new overlay with my custom artwork for the shop. All these components came out of this amplifier. So there was the original power transformer, circus board, heat sink assembly, and miscellaneous okay that's all history we are going to start with a fresh slate so there's a few things you need to do first in this area that is where the heat sink used to pop out this is where the original power transformer used to rest you remove all that and now you need to install an aluminum plate to mount the two 12AX7 tubes. So this has been pop riveted in. These two guys are my output tubes, in this case a 6AQ5. This will be the Fender 6G2 circuit with input jacks, volume, tone, speed and intensity. All these other holes will be covered when I install my new cover plate. Okay this is a point where you need to decide what circuit that you are going to put on your chassis. I have elected to build the Fender 6G2 as I discussed earlier. So my tube layout is two 12AX7s, two 6AQ5s. I will not be using a rectifier tube. It's going to be diode rectified. Here is my power transformer. It is going to sit on top of the chassis covering the hole where the old transformer was. My output transformer is a Hammond 125H and this guy can easily do push-pull 6AQ5s at 8 watts of power output and I'm going to use the 8 ohm tap because that's what my speaker is in the cabinet. Alright, bottom side view for your information I will be reusing the original fuse holder and this power terminal board that was installed in the amp. So those two components stayed after it was gutted. Here is my tube layout and for the main circuitry I'm going to be mounting a D-Lab ECB-AT board which is very close to the Fender 6G2. A power supply as I stated earlier will be diode rectified and I'm using the D-Lab Cub 1 board which is going to sit right here. So it's going to be a very clean layout, very little wiring involved. So to simplify my builds, I like to build up a little kit. So obviously I have my boards ready, output transformer, 
These are the standoffs for mounting the boards. I have number six standoffs for the main board and number fours for the power supply. A pair of Michael X tube sockets for the 12AX7s, some rubber grommets, and a little terminal board. Okay, I'm going to cut and get everything mounted up, and that will give you a better visual of what this amp will be. I have all the components mounted on the chassis. There's our control panel. Inputs, volume, tone, speed, intensity. So your inside shot showing our boards and controls, tube sockets, power supply. We're on top side, I got my power transformer, output transformer, and of course we have our tube sockets. So let's go ahead and install some tubes and do a test fit into the cabinet. Okay, the chassis is reinstalled into the cabinet. I do not have the output jack for the speaker yet but you get the idea. Plenty of clearance between the speaker, the tubes, and transformers. So you can see now why you could easily build the same circuit with a pair of 6V6s and a rectifier tube. Well, here's the front of the amp with a new aluminum control panel installed covering all those old holes. This will be my power jewel. So you can see after you complete this and add your artwork, you're going to have a very cool looking vintage amplifier. So because of other projects getting in the way, I had to actually kind of fast forward on the completion of the Sidekick mod to a tube amp. So I do have the amp complete. And I have the front panel artwork installed. She really looks sweet. I'm going to give you a guided tour of the inside of the amp. And then we'll test and I'll have somebody play it live. Alright, we'll start top side. Of course we have our power transformer line cord coming in use the original fuse holder now we have a power switch and these two jacks became the speaker outputs I'm running a pair of 6AQ5 output tubes with a Hammond 125H output transformer there's two 12AX7's this guy serves as the inverter and the tremolo and this is the preamp very similar to what you'd see on a Princeton 6G2 schematic. Now here we are, bottom side of the D-Lab D62 amplifier. You can see we have a lot of wide open space, a very uncluttered layout, and that's because these two boards are handling all the work. You simply interconnect between these boards, your tube sockets and controls, and you've got an amp. So let's start over here in the power supply. Got our line voltage coming in, going to our main power transformer. These blue lines are the 6 volt AC that feeds the filaments. These two yellow wires go up to the rectifier board. So this is the Cub 1 board. We have our high voltage out, our screens, and our preamp. So the preamp line goes over here to the D-Lab ECB AT board. Now normally this board is only used on a class A circuit with tremolo. But in this case I added the inverter circuit on this terminal board. So this guy is configured as he would normally be but now we've added the inverter tube to feed the 6AQ5 output tubes. The 6AQ5s do not have negative bias for adjusting the idle current. In this case we are doing cathode bias. So the tremolo circuit mixes in through these two 220K resistors and gives you true grid type tremolo. I'm not varying the negative bias. The circuit is really nice and it sounds great. Let me show you. So let's take a look at the output of the D62 utilizing an oscilloscope and a dummy load. So the first thing I like to do on these builds is ensure that I don't have any noise. So I call it a noise floor test. We have no input. Tremolo's off. I'm going to bring the volume up all the way. We're going to look at the scope. I'm at 0.5 per division. There's 0.2. 0.1. There's 50 millivolts per division. So that's pretty much noise free. I challenge you to do that on any tube amp and see what your noise floor is. Right now I'm going to connect an input 
and we're going to look at the sine wave that those 6AQ5s generate. So now we have a signal applied from the leader AF generator in the background. We're going into the D-Lab dummy head box. The scope output comes off the box to our channel on the oscilloscope. So now I'm going to bring up the volume and let's take a look at the sine wave. I am at 2 volts per division. And just look at that sine wave. Here is the tone control. I'm injecting about 700 Hertz right now. Now, pull out the little shorting plug. And let's take a look at the tremolo operation. And there it is. So this is the old school Princeton type tremolo. So it's actually modulating the grids of the output tubes. Here's your speed. But everything looks A-OK -okay on the D62 amp. The following video is a demo of my newest D62 amplifier. This runs a pair of 6AQ5s and a 12-inch Marshall speaker built in a real Fender cabinet. Here we go. <laughs> listen to the tremolo. Jeremy here and he's playing the newest D62 amp. This is the one that runs a pair of 6AQ5s. It's all yours, man. I just gotta get him to buy it. <laughs> 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 <laughs>